Uh, how I would describe myself, I guess, I love to just say I'm an artist. Uh, in depth, I'm an MC, I'm a producer, uh, I'm a consultant, I'm a tour booker, I'm self-managed, but uh, all in all, I make beats and I rhyme, simply, simply put, you know. There was this one time as a kid in Sudan, I would say maybe I was about 12, 13 years old, and this guy was fishing um, in a town called Jabalolia, which is kind of further south from the city, and a crocodile came out and ate him. Definitely the strangest thing I've seen. <laughs> Definitely. True story, I promise. In 06, when I went, there were quite a lot of different personalities, and of course the one thing we all had in common was music. But outside of music, there were some really peculiar individuals. Y you get a lot of people who were probably really quiet and modest, some people who were really eccentric and outgoing. Uh, someone who I still keep in contact with today, uh, my good friend from Lisbon, he, he was a really wild individual who stayed up with me practically every night working on tracks. We found out that there were folding beds in the academy and that there was a shower in the warehouse and we stopped going back to the hotel. We just worked every day and every night. The lunch, the woman who prepared the lunches left sandwiches for us in the evening because she knew we didn't go home. So shout outs to Tiago, he knows who he is. <laughs>